What is up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Road Shower 4. We've been getting a lot of questions asked about on it, the one that Chris has. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys just how to use it. Uh, we're gonna show you guys how to fill it up and then we're gonna let you guys know if it's worth it or not. Another thing, I don't know if you guys can tell probably video quality or uh, sound quality. Uh, I'm actually recording on my phone. My camera died, his camera died, all our batteries are dead. So yeah, time to improvise. Let's go ahead and get into it and show you guys. We get a lot of questions on the road shower. The one I have in particular is a road shower four. They do make two other models, the road shower 4S and the road shower 4L. The 4S holds four gallons, mine holds seven, and then the road shower 4L holds 10 gallons. We're gonna get into details on how to pressurize it, how to fill it up, and how to use it. It's pretty straightforward, but, uh, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to be asking Chris questions on maybe something that we've gotten in the past, which the first question that I do remember was, uh, was it really hard to install or how hard was it? Were you supposed to fill it up before you put it up there or after? Uh, questions like that. But let's go ahead and first do this. Was it hard to install? Glad you asked that question. Let me explain why. <laughs> this thing was honestly an absolute pain to install, but that's just because of the print suit. Because the print suit is a low profile roof rack, I had to unbolt both crossbars and even then I didn't feel like taking the crossbars off because I didn't know if I would be able to mount it exactly the same so I, just, I had to loosen the other side and then take these bolts out and then lift up the crossbar on both sides and then put something under there to like keep it up above the rack so I can bolt the actual carriage bolts to the crossbar so I can mount it to the print suit so it was honestly pretty much to mount it on the print suit was kind of a pain. Um, so I'm honestly really not worried about anyone stealing it. And if they steal it, honestly, congratulations. All right, so the next question would be, uh, did it come already pre-installed as far as the hose, the fittings and all that, or did you have to do it? Right out of the box, the hose does come separate from the road shower. They come in the same box, but um, it's not connected anyway. This fitting right here on the on the end of the road shower, you do have to bolt this or uh, screw this on, and they do come with uh, pre-wrapped in uh, plumber's tape, and then you also have to connect the hose to it as well. Hey, you want to go ahead and just state some facts on the hose and stuff like that, and then we'll get into pressurizing and how to fill up. On the hose, if you just basically buy the regular package for a road shower, they do come with like a basically, honestly, just a garden hose attachment. Um, you can use. This it has the adjustable knob at the end so you can make it in from a stream or like that uh, like a cone pattern so you can use it for like a shower or anything like that um, they do make extra attachments that come out of that spout to make it an actual shower head we do notice though over time it does have these like uh like little blotches on it on the hose um i believe i was talking to one of my friends and that's just sun damage it's on the outside of the hose it's on the inside they are food grade but over time i would recommend every so often uh, not like you know every other use but once a year maybe at least uh swap out your hose so another question that uh we did yeah. see was uh is is this hot does it get hot does it get cold how does it work as far as temperature i'm glad you asked that jesse hell yeah on this <laughs> on, the, on the road shower you do get a temperature gauge included in the box too that also tells you the temperature it's they are by color and right now the water is about 64 degrees I would not shower in that. Yeah, it's going to be a cold <laughs> shower. They use the sun to heat up their road showers. That's why they're all powder coated black. Um, with it being powder coated black, it's allowed to, it's, it can absorb more sunlight and then warm up faster and more efficiently. So like, um, like say any day that's in this, honestly, what I noticed too is if it's a sunny day all day, even if it's cold outside, like say like winter here in SoCal, just sitting in the sun, it's still absorbing enough light. And I noticed that it's still gotten up to about 80. 82 to 86 degrees now that's a nice warm shower yeah honestly with the road shower your best bet is to always take a shower with it at night or like in the evening that way it's had the whole day to heat up because you don't want to shower in the morning with this because you know then it's going to be a cold shower i got another 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 awesome question for you <laughs> <laughs> all right so is this bad boy easy to fill up i know it, you said it takes seven gallons but is it easy to fill up it like is. really easy 
It, I'm glad you asked that question too. Oh yeah. Right here at the top of it, there's this uh, big um, cap that it has. It's made out of brass. How big? And it's pretty, pretty, pretty big. Look. This cap right here, it's um, it's about two inches wide. It does have a pressure release valve in case you do overpressurize the tank. Wait. So what you're telling me is this thing is pressurized? Not yet. Oh. You can pressurize it. All right, so since it's easy to fill it up, how do you pressurize it? Well, you hit me with all these good questions. Right here is going to be your uh, standard valve stem. What that's going to be used for is to pressurize this water tank. And what the road shower sold me on is its capacity, its ability to have a lot higher pressure than most of your other pressurized water tanks that you can use on when you're camping or overlanding or whatever. Most of them are going to average 20 to 30 psi. This one you can pump, pump up all the way up to 65 psi and take probably about a 10 minute shower. I'm gonna go back to it. So what he means by a standard valve stem, which is the one that's right there, um, it's basically the ones that you have on your tires. That's a standard valve stem. So if you guys do have a compressor or anything like that, uh, which most people that do go off road, you guys probably do carry a compressor. You can go ahead and use that and pressurize it. Go up to 65 psi. You said, yeah, it can damn, be 65 psi. Could you imagine that shower? How nice and clean oh, yeah. you will be. Would be <laughs> and then when it's up to 90 degrees, 85 degrees. <laughs> Your body is it's like, like it's honestly like it's, 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 it's you're at home it's 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 luxurious wow got that i got that yeah. <laughs> a question that probably everyone everyone has been waiting for do i shower naked yes okay well besides <laughs> that but um is this bad boy expensive is there one more affordable or is this the top of the line or glad, what yeah glad you asked that yes this this bad boy does come with the price um not a lot of people probably want to pay, but honestly, it is well worth the money from what I've experienced already with this. The Road Shower 4 comes in at $400. The Road Shower 4S comes in at three, I believe. And the Road Shower 4L comes in at five. They are worth the money, in my opinion, depending on uh, depending on the person. I want to make sure that if I'm on a, an extended trip, I have enough water to shower for the entire trip, maybe up up to at least probably two weeks now that you've had it for almost a year now you've used it a couple times is it good like uh do you think it degraded too quick i know the hose kind of looks burnt but besides the whole other product all right another another phenomenal question <laughs> <laughs> on the road shower i'm honestly really impressed and i don't regret it because you can never have too much water when you go on the outdoors or off the grid um I, I am happy with it, and honestly, their build quality is honestly really, really phenomenal. Phenomenal. There we go. The reason why is because I smacked this bad boy twice on the ceiling of a parking structure. I learned that the hard way. I can't fit in them anymore. <laughs> but I hit this um, this cap to fill up the tank, and I actually hit the the valve stem on one of the concrete beams, and for some reason they didn't break. The only thing that actually technically broke was the plastic cap over the valve stem where you pressurize it. But I mean that you can just grab for like 10 cents probably yeah, online or something. Other than that, I mean it still functions like it was brand new minus, you know, some scratching on the cap and then minus that cap is gone. But Man. it can still work flawlessly. I mean the build quality is amazing. Didn't even dent the road shower. I don't know how they made it so strong, but they did and i'm glad they did what you're saying is you definitely recommend it if they want to purchase it it's in the description I box below highly recommend it this product is phenomenal so we should put it in the description box below is what you're saying yeah put it right down there should they buy it like right now buy it right now like if we're a commercial should we buy it should they buy it yes show me your Shout best commercial friends wait let's make this a commercial show me what you got i want you to sell that yeah, right of now. course we're not sponsored in any way. I just wanted to see what Chris has his acting skills. Oh, I gotta prep for this. Oof. This is uh, improv. All right. Action. Oh. Buy it. That's that's not what I asked for. Buy it. Why not? Need a shower. Everybody showers. 
why not shower when you're camping? Don't go to a family campground. Go in the backwoods. Take one of these bad boys. Shower. Don't be dirty. No one likes a smelly guy or a smelly girl. Buy one of these. Take a shower. Buy it. Shower. Buy it. Buy it. Shower. Buy it. That's good. I hope you guys did enjoy that. I hope you guys got some knowledge on the Road Shower 4 and the other ones, uh, which of course we don't have. I will yeah. be honest, I am a little jealous that he has one and I don't. <laughs> Road Shower, can you hit me up? No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Chris's knowledge on it. If you guys do want to purchase it, it's going to be in the description box below. Once again, we're not sponsored by them. We just really think it's a cool product. But yeah, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.